Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be cash stuffing for week two of August. I'm very, very late and I'm very, very sorry. Um, so I was away for work this week and I've struggled to figure out when to do my cash stuff and it was either Sunday or now. So I waited till now. So here we are and I'm cash stuffing for week two of August. So in today's video, I'm going to be stuffing £340. This should be, I haven't checked it. <laughs> But like, I do my budget at the start of my pay. So this should be right, it should be right, let's see. Okay, so I've got 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 50, 70, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 300, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, and 40. So 340 pounds is all here, ready for cash stuffing for this week. So what have you all been up to? We finally had a bit of dry weather, which is great. Um, so I've been in Liverpool most of the week. Uh, I haven't been for a few years actually, and it was lovely, such lovely weather. And I was on the Docklands, which was really nice. It was dead busy. There was just people everywhere. It was great, um, absolutely loved it. So yeah, I've had um, a busy week being, being away from home really. So let's see then what I've got left over from the last week. Bearing in mind, I haven't been here for a lot of it. Uh, right, let's have a look. Okay, <gasps> there's a note in groceries, my God. Okay, right. So, coinage, one, two, three, four for Ira. And then I've got some change for Errol, but no 50 pences this week, never mind. So, I've got 10 in groceries. I'll figure out later on where I want to put that, but we'll just stick it there for now. Nothing in fuel, nothing in spending, money to go back to the bank, still, haven't done it yet. And then I've got two fives for the five pound challenge. Challenge. So we'll put that there, right. So let's restuff then for the next week or so. I mean, I get paid on Tuesday, I think. So we'll see when I film my next stuffing, but 50 pounds for groceries, first of all. So 20, 40 and 50. Fuel doesn't need anything. And then spending, I wonder if this is gonna kick me in the backside for the fourth week in a row. So I do this infinity challenge with my spending money each week. Um, I always budget 35 for spending and I get questions quite a bit. It's basically if I wanna grab a sandwich when I'm out or a coffee, or it might even be spent on parking, you know, little things like that. Um, so, or if it's like a quick glass of wine with me friend and it's, I don't want to take it from social, that's kind of where I'll, I'll pull from uh, for spending. So this infinity challenge here, I use this dice. It's not your average dice. It um, tells me whether I should stay where I am on this challenge or go forwards or backwards a certain number of spaces. So this is from Budget with Ira. Um, he does sell this now with a different set of dice. There's two dice now, I think. And then you do get two another two versions of this challenge, which has different amounts on it. So please check it out if you're interested. Um, I'm not sure if they're in stock or not, but this is from Ira. Right, what am I gonna get this week? Please don't be a zero, please, please. Minus one. Okay, so that's forwards, in my opinion. <laughs> so this is backwards, yay! Oh my God, it's five. That's better. That's much, much better. Okay, so, oh. So five pounds will go towards an envelope later on, which means I've got 30 pounds for spending. I mean, I don't have any bloody plans, so <laughs> we'll see if I've got any of that left next week. Uh, but it's nice to have it for a change. So, awesome, right. So that is my cash envelopes restuffed for another week. Okay, so the first binder I'm gonna stuff now is my essentials binder. And I'm going to start with home, which is going to get 10. So it now has 100 in the bank and then 20, 40, 55, 155 in home. And then household is going to get uh, 10 as well. So it now has 50 in the bank and then 60, 70 in household. And then home maintenance is going to get 10. Oh, I need to update this tracker. I'll do it. 
I haven't updated any of my trackers. I'm really bad with admin and housekeeping. I'm really sorry. I'll update that off camera so it's correct, but I've spent a bit out of here. So I did um, <laughs> attempt to reseal around my bath. Anyone out there thinking of doing it, don't, don't, don't do it. Just get someone to do it for you. Pay them, pay them the money to do it because my God, what a bloody nightmare. I mean, I don't make life easy for myself. I've got these tiles around my bath, which are like textured. So it was just a bloody mess. Um, I had to buy a Stanley knife that I didn't have. I had to buy other tools um, for the reseal. I had to buy some white spirit for the cleaning of it. Disaster. It, it seals, it looks okay, it'll do. But just please out there, pay someone. <laughs> It's getting 10, so I've got 150 in the bank and then 65 in home maintenance. <clears throat> and I'll update this, as I say, later on. Okay, energy we're pausing on, it's got 250. Appliances is gonna get 15, which is exciting. So 10 and five. So it now has 150 in the bank and then 170, 80, 95, 195, brilliant. So I can colour in another washing machine. <clears throat> there we are. I haven't bought an iron yet, but I, I will. I don't iron very often, do you? I only really need to iron when I'm like, going on a work trip because the rest of the time I, I don't really care <laughs> if I'm honest right garden is getting five so it has 100 in the bank and then 120 35 and 140 in garden Kingston is fully funded insurance is fully funded and car tax is fully funded car maintenance is going to get five so it now has 200 in the bank and then five and 10, 210 in car maintenance. And I can color in the other half of this for five pound. <clears throat> we might come back to this with that extra 10 just so we can get ahead on it. I don't know, let's see how we get on. And then buffer is a savings challenge later on. Okay, so that is essentials all done. All right, so next we're moving on to my binder. I have spent out of hair and beauty. I've got 50 pound left. I have, what did I spend it on? I think it was a wax, um, which I wanna start doing again. I used to get waxed all the time and I, for some reason I stopped. I'm not sure why. Anyway, I wanna do that again. I might need to start putting more money into this because of the different things I wanna do. Um, things like, you know, saving for the Olaplex, if that continues to work for me, saving for, for waxes, um, obviously my hair, I have my hair cut. I had my hair cut the other day. You know how I said I was gonna get it cut more often? I think it's been eight or nine weeks since it was last cut. And honestly, she must've cut off about three millimeters of hair. <laughs> it was absolutely pointless. So I'm not gonna do it that often because I don't need it. So I might wait a good like three to four months before my next one. I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, right, Hair and Beauty is gonna get 20. So it has 70. And then clothes, I have spent out of here actually, so I need to take this out. I've bought a dress. Um, I said a long time ago, I want to buy clothes that are gonna last me. So I've bought a dress from Wolf and Badger which is an online retailer. They might have a shop in London actually, but it's a beautiful cut out dress. Um, and so it hasn't arrived yet. When it comes, I'm gonna really look at the material and the quality of it. If I don't think it's worth, it's worth 95 pound. If I don't think it's worth that, it'll, it's gonna be going back. If I don't think it's gonna last me a good five years or more, it's gonna go back. Uh, but this is like a tester of seeing if I spend more on, a, on an item of clothing like that, is it worth it? So for now, that's gonna leave. Um, but clothes this week is gonna get 10. So I've now got a measly 15, <laughs> but that's fine. Okay, right, now then, looks is actually gonna get skipped. Um, books is gonna get five. So it has 10, 15, and 20 in books. And then health is gonna get five. 
So it has 50 in the bank, 75.85 in health. Yoga is fully funded with 100. Uh, social is gonna get five. So it has 50 in the bank, 55 and 60 in social, which is really good. Haven't had to use that yet. Uh, fun is also gonna get five. So it has 50 in the bank and then 70, 85 and 90 in fun. And then gifts is also gonna get five. So it has 50 in the bank and then 65. So 65 in gifts. Uh, tech is going to get five. So it has 55, 65. I'm just gonna swap those for a 10 because I do need another five. So 50, 65 in tech. Okay, holiday fund is going to get 50. So Holiday Fund now has 1,000 in the bank and then 1,050, 1,100. So exciting. <clears throat> and I can colour in another aeroplane. So let's do that. There we are. So that's looking good. Awesome. All right, and then trip fund, I said I would fix this, which I'm gonna do now. So I'm adding five. Uh, so it's got 150 in the bank, 170, 190, 195, and 200 in trip fund. So I can color in the rest of this aeroplane to fix it. And we are back up to 200 in trip fund, which is great. Awesome. Okay, so that is it for my binder. All right then, so now we've got, bloody hell man, birthdays. So, Ginny is fully funded with 60 pounds. My dad, did I fully fund him? 50, 70, 90, yeah. My dad is fully funded now with 100, which means we're working on Molly. Now she is, which one is she? Let me think. She is my niece, my middle-aged niece. <laughs> she's not middle-aged. She's in the middle of five nieces in terms of age. Yes, she's not till January. So we're gonna give her 10 to start her off. So Molly now has 10 and that is it for birthdays. And then next we have my savings challenges. We're gonna start with binders and we're gonna start with Christmas. So let's bring in Christmas. Whoops. All right, so we've already done this once. So we've got 500 in the bank um, and I'm gonna add 20 today. So let's do this 20 here and find the 20, right. There we go. So 20 into Christmas. So that's that one done. And then we're gonna do a mortgage. So mortgage is next and mortgage is gonna get five. So we'll do this five here. Brilliant. Okay, so where's that five? There it is. So that's mortgage done. And then we're gonna move on to my 10K challenge, which is this one here. This is the bigger version, um, the full 50 envelope version. So we're gonna add 10 pounds to this today. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. So it's got 20, 40, 50, 60 in this round of 200. So let's cross off another 10. That's the wrong green, but never mind. So. 60 in this round of 200. And then we have 200, 400 in the bank already. So 460 so far for the 10K savings. And then we'll bring in the rest of my savings challenges, which is in here. 
Okay, so just roll it light. I do using my side hustle income. So Sparks of Joy is finished, which is very exciting. Um, so really, we're on to buffer straight away. And it's going to get 20 today. So 20 into buffer. So it's now got 200, 350 in the bank, 370, 390, 405, oh, 405, just 95 pounds to go on buffer. And I've added 20. So I forgot to color this, this one in here last week. So we'll do this 10 and we'll do this 10 for 20. So then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 5, 75, 85, 95. 95 left for buffer. And then we've got Scouse Girl Budgets. Now then, what are we working on? <clears throat> so we're working on dominoes. Now then, Scouse Girl is gonna get 20 quid. My God. So three, five, that's 10. So let's color those in for 10. So we've got a two here. Oh, oh no, this isn't good. Two and ten. So that's Domino Dosh all done. And the next one we have is Cake Capital. Oh, look at this. So this one adds up to 50 and we've got tens and fives. So that's pretty easy. So we'll just do um, a ten straight off. And we'll cross off this one here. Or should I cross off the cake? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Right, so that's 20 pounds into Scouse Girl Budgets. So she now has 50 in the bank, 70, 80, 90, 110 in Scouse Girl, brilliant. Okay, awesome, so next up we've got roll with it. Oh, I've got an extra 10, haven't I? Um, do you know what I might do? I might put it in Christmas. Yeah, let's put it in Christmas. Because I do want to, I do want to get this done by like November time. So let's find the 10. There we go. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so an extra 10 into Christmas, which is great. Okay, so roll with it. We are uh, roll. <laughs> We were very lucky this week and only five pound is going towards one of these categories. So here are all this dice and whatever it lands on, I shall put into that category. So where's it gonna go this week? Um, where did that land? Oh, it's kind of on, I'll do it again. Seven. Christmas, oh God. Honestly, what is the world doing to us? Right, fine, 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 fine. That's good, that's good. So an extra five into Christmas. Oh, plowing through, plowing ahead. Okay, so the next five is there. So five into Christmas, awesome. God, so that's had 20, 35 quid this week. <clears throat> cool. Okay, and then next up we have the five pound challenge, which is gonna get two fives this week into there, brilliant. And then we've got budget with Ira. Okay, so budget with Ira, <clears throat> we're still drawing. So let's go to that page. Um, so what have I done? Oh, I've been to Liverpool. Should we do something to do with Liverpool? I mean, I could draw a man with a moustache, but I don't think my uh, Scouse, Scouse viewers would be very, very impressed with that. It's almost like drawing a Geordie with, you know, a, I, don't, I don't know, what? A pint of lager and an angry face? No, that's not fair. That's not true. Or is it? I don't know. Anyway, um, shall we draw the liver bird? Oh, God, no. Oh, hold on. Um... Live a bird cartoon version is what I want. <laughs> okay, well, it, right. Oh my God. Why, what am I doing with myself? Okay. 
I apologize to every scouser out there. I really do. This is this is gonna be horrendous. Um Oh my god. Oh, holy hell. I'm really sorry. I'm re I genuinely am really sorry about this. Um, please don't cancel me. Don't, uh, you know, report me for abuse. Um, don't deplatform me. Tell you what I've been watching um, a lot this week uh, is I've, I've discovered a guy called Christopher Hitchens. There's a lot of you out there will probably know who he is um, or was. I'm so gutted that I found him when, when he's passed away. He passed away, I think, like 12 years ago or something. Anyway, writer and journalist. Um, he's an atheist and I know that's not everyone's cup of tea. Um, but the, the reason I like watching him is because if he's he's a really good orator, he's, he's speaking skills <clears throat> in front of big crowds is amazing. Um, and I've been watching some debates he used to do around religion, around things like that, the Catholic Church. I was brought up Catholic, so I'm really interested actually to see other perspectives. So anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about this. I've drawn a really crappy liver bird and I apologize to everyone out there. It looks like a demon. Um, and it, I know it's not meant to be that. So anyway, apologies. <clears throat> right. So one, two, three, four is going into Ira. So that's that done. And then we'll bring this back. So 50p challenge from Esther at My Money Matters is not getting anything this week. But we are left with the penny challenge or the one to 100. It's getting 20, 40, 45, 47, 48 pence, Errol. Not much at all. Oh, you're so light. You're light as a bird. <laughs> what was that, 48? Oh, God. I think I said 48. <clears throat> so 48, 18 would make 30. I know I need my calculator because I'm not that bright. So 30 minus 17 is 13 and 13 is free awesome oh we haven't got long to go on this one to 100 i'm so excited okay guys listen thank you so much for watching another cash stuffing video i'll be back um next week with the third cash stuff of august um which will be just after i get paid so i shall see you then thank you and i'll see you later bye <laughs>